We're out of milk. Why do people put milk on cereal? I'm drinking milk though. What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna to talk about Royal Lunch Milk Crackers. Now your first reaction is probably, wait a second, those are crackers, that's not cereal. And technically, you'd be right, I guess. But while I was listening to an episode of the Empty Bowl podcast, a great podcast about cereal, the host, Dan and Justin, were talking about what constitutes a cereal. Justin wondered if those delicious peanut butter filled pretzels could be considered a cereal if you put them in a bowl and added some milk. And I don't really have an answer for that. Everyone has a different opinion on this, but their discussion about this topic gave me a spark of nostalgia for something from my childhood, or rather something from my father's childhood that carried over into my life. And that thing is Royal Lunch Milk Crackers. Let me explain. So Royal Lunch Milk Crackers were a product released by Nabisco about a hundred years ago. I don't know the exact year they went into production. It's been hard to pin down specific details about them, but I know they were being sold in the early 1900s. They're very similar to Royal Tea Biscuits, which you can find in the UK. And you can see from the box here, they're just simple, slightly sweetened crackers that you can eat plain or dip in milk. People use them in stuffing recipes or crumbled up on top of mac and cheese, but that's not how my father ate these crackers. As a kid, I would watch as my dad would take a stack of these things, crumble them up in a bowl, sprinkle them with sugar, add some milk, and eat them like a bowl of cereal. Now I took his lead and tried this a few times, and although it wasn't bad, as a kid with a pantry full of sweet cereals, it was never something I really developed a craving for. I had actually forgotten all about this cereal until listening to that Empty Bowl podcast. And afterwards, I started texting my dad to ask him all about this creation of his. Turns out, it wasn't really his creation. He told me this is how everyone ate these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers. But I'm not really sure everyone ate them that way, because the more I looked into these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers, the more I began to suspect that it was more of a generational and regional slash cultural phenomenon. Here, let me give you some background. So my father was born in New Bedford, Massachusetts. There's the man himself. Aw, look at that. Adorable, right? I was such a cute little baby. Anyway, I'm Cape Verdean, my father's Cape Verdean. There's a huge Cape Verdean population in the New England area. And while these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers were a national product produced by Nabisco, I think they were specifically popular in the New England region amongst Cape Verdean families. Why? Well, I haven't been able to figure out that connection. Maybe they were just sold in mom and pop grocery stores in Cape Verdean neighborhoods. I'm not really sure, but here's why I've come to this conclusion. See, Nabisco discontinued these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers in the late 2000s. People were upset on the internet and posting on message boards, begging for Nabisco to bring them back. Then in 2017, a company called Atlantic Trading Company, owned by Victor DePina, bought the brand and signed on bakeries in Cape Verde to produce and bake these wonderful crackers. Victor is Cape Verdean himself, and his company is in Fall River, Massachusetts, home to a large Cape Verdean population. So now these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers are made in Cape Verde Islands, shipped over to Massachusetts, where they are sold by the Atlantic Trading Company via Amazon, Walmart, ShopRite, or other local stores in the New England region. Anyway, I know I've spent a lot of time now telling you all this information that you couldn't care less about, but I wanted to explain why I'm doing a serial video about these crackers and why they have a personal connection to me. So in honor of my father, let's try a bowl of these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers. First, let's take a quick look at the ingredients here. You can see they have milk fat powder and whey powder, so if you're lactose intolerant, you should take a lactate. Although if you're lactose intolerant, you probably won't be eating something called milk crackers. So let's open up this box and take a look. So you can see a few of the crackers are already broken up there. They seem a bit fragile. So let me show you how you do it. This is my father's technique. First, you take a nice stack of these crackers and then you crumble them up into manageable sized pieces in your bowl. Then you gotta add some sugar to them. When I was a kid, I used to put sugar on my kick cereal, and I used to add a lot more than that. But my tolerance for sugar has waned over the years. So here's what a bowl of this Royal Lunch Milk Crackers cereal looks like. You can see the crackers are all broken up into kind of manageable pieces. They're sprinkled with sugar. This is exactly how my father would eat them, drenched in milk. Now before I add the milk, my father stressed you have to eat this stuff pretty quickly because the crackers get soggy in milk pretty fast. Which makes sense, they're not a cereal that's made to stay crunchy. All right, let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. I mean, they are pretty tasty, and it definitely brings back memories of me sitting at the kitchen counter trying a bowl of these when I was younger. I think if I had grown up eating these consistently like my father had, they would definitely fill that comfort food spot in my life. But since I mostly ate bowls of Cap'n Crunch or Fruity Pebbles, well, those are my comfort foods. Now, if you wanna try these Royal Lunch Milk Crackers, you can find them on Amazon, or if you live in the New England region, you can probably find them at some local stores. Again, if you didn't grow up with them, I doubt they will compare at all to your favorite cereal, but they will always hold a special place in my memory because of my father. So what about you? What are your childhood food memories? And I don't even mean just cereal. Is there something unique or different that your family or community used to eat that you have fond memories of? Please let me know down in the comments. I love to hear those stories. All right, well, that's gonna do it for Royal Lunch Milk Crackers and this special video of cereal 
time. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it was a little departure from the normal stuff. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. Look at that, it's already turned to mush.